scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Take it higher. For in that glory we are changed. 
That is a dimension of reality that cannot be taught. It's an experience. Open our eyes. Open our eyes. With the vistas of the Spirit. you to pray just one prayer point say give me a visitation tonight it's our year of the rain my goodness give me a visitation you will catch fire this is a year you will catch fire it's a rain that brings fire it's a rain that makes you an inferno Pray and say, Lord, I make a demand. I ask for the rain. Distracted tonight. Don't be distracted. Don't be distracted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to me. I am absolutely convinced. Hear me. That every one of us here represents a sphere of influence. Every one of us here represents a jurisdiction of dominion. And so this is a summit. It's, it's a convergence of kings. It's a convergence of ambassadors. So as you travel, you travel for your sphere of influence. As you pray, you pray for they that are tied to your grace. Don't see yourself as a single entity. For when they looked at the womb of Rebecca, they saw that there were two nations. Not just twins, two nations. We each represent territories, dimensions of spiritual operation that the nations will benefit from. And so when you cry, you cry on behalf of eternity. When you travel, you travel on behalf of a family, on behalf of a community. Lord, we love you. We love you. We thank you for your presence. Hallelujah. Honestly, let me tell you something. We're not ready for what God has in store for us this year. We think we are, but I don't think we're ready. Because... God is going to move this year in most dramatic proportions. You will see ordinary men turn into things that will make you wonder. And this is not some spiritual things. Physically, you will see men that will walk like gods in this city, across this nation. All God is asking is, do you believe? Do you believe? He said, blessed is she that believes. Blessed is she that believes. For unto her there shall be a performance of those things that have been spoken. Unto her. Lord, we believe. Let the rain fall without restriction. We empty ourselves and we empty our vessels. 
Hallelujah. We ask you to help us tonight. Spirit of the living God, we submit to you. Unveil the mysteries of the kingdom. Teach us truths that are older than us. Teach us what made the ancient powerful. Open us up to ancient vistas in the spirit. Show us realities that predate our dispensation. Grant us access to abilities and dimensions in the spirit. Show us the ancient path. Oh, that we will step into the Sabbath. Grant us grace. For there is a longing in our spirit. There is a longing upon our generation. To experience a fresh dimension of the reality of the spirit. And we trust you to bring us into this reality. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Please be seated. You're welcome. Just sit quietly. Pick up your writing materials. There is a lot to do tonight. Please no, let no seats be vacant. There are so many people. If we can get some of the people to occupy the seats. Some of them are the extreme overflows. If they can come and at least stand inside. There are people under the anointing ushers. I know that you... It's a season of the rain. We will step into realities this year. We will step into strange dimensions of grace. And the Lord will grant it so in the name of Jesus Christ. You will step into levels of realities that will change your physical form. Your physical form that will alter you. When Moses stood in the glory, he did not know that he was being changed. After 40 days, he stepped out and his skin, his flesh, his physical flesh. It's, it's not just about using cream and all of that. There is a level of glory. I'm telling you, I want you to believe this. God is not playing games with us. If we mean business with him, he says, who has believed our report? Who has believed? You will see mountains melt as if they never existed. That's what happens when the glory of the Lord comes. You will see God turn around situations. He said, turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev. I want every meeting that we come for all through this year, you must be very intentional about it. You must be very definite about it hallelujah you can greet and play around after the service but the moment you step into this building before the meeting starts i want you to know that you are standing upon mount zion and anything just anything can happen hallelujah that's what god wants to do let it cover all the earth Oh, that's our prayer. Let it cover all the earth. That's our prayer. Let it cover all the earth. Let the rain of His Spirit cover us. Let it cover all I wrote this song years ago from my spirit. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. with your glory even tonight and bless our hearts in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah 
Praise the Lord. The reality of spiritual laws. The reality of spiritual laws. The reality of spiritual laws. What we'll be learning tonight will be so powerful. So powerful. My goal for us this year is that we will become so powerful. Men and women of extreme spiritual power. And it will happen as we are shown the keys of the kingdom. The mysteries of the kingdom. Listen, let me tell you something. For years, for years, there has been a cry in my spirit. Somehow, there is a testimony in my spirit that our generation has lost touch with ancient realities. You hear me use that word again and again. People move forward, but something in my spirit keeps drawing me back. And it says, if you can go back enough, you will find something we lost. Hallelujah. I've been intrigued every time I read things in scripture and it talks about ancient things. There is something that the ancient knew. It's not supposed to be so difficult. We have lost touch with the dimension of reality. Carnality, flesh, intercourse with Babylon, cut short a flow of spiritual reality. And the Lord told me something last year. He said, mantles do not leave the earth to heaven. That means every dimension of grace that has ever been displaced in the earth, they are archived in certain dimensions here in the earth realm. And if we can trust the ministry of the Holy Spirit, He will navigate us to those parts. And we will collide with these ancient mantles. And we will do strange things upon the surface of this earth. You believe that? And this is our journey. Show us great things, oh God. The reality of spiritual laws. Aside from revealing the person and the ministry of the Holy Spirit to the body of Christ, one of the cardinal areas of my call is to teach the body of Christ the principles of the kingdom. To unveil to the body of Christ that dominion is a resultant effect of the knowledge and the comprehension of the mysteries of the kingdom a mystery is a hidden truth that requires the agency of the spirit or another spirit that is not of this realm to open an individual to the reality it's called a mystery mysteries the occultic realm operate on the strength of mysteries coded operations that are shrouded in mysteries science cannot explain it it takes your fraternity with another spirit to open you up to those dimensions and so he said it has been given unto you to know the word know there is the word a man and a man knowing his wife it has been given to you to come into a union with the mysteries of the kingdom hallelujah if we ever will attain to that stature of spiritual authority where we can legislate on behalf of the kingdom then i want you to know that it will never just be by impartation it will never just be by stories it will stand upon the strength of something that we know what did job know that turned his financial predicament in a moment the Bible did not tell us what business he did. The Bible just said Job prayed for his friends. Mysteriously, people started coming from everywhere. Brothers and sisters, are there portals we have lost in the spirit? Have we not lost touch with certain dimensions of spiritual reality? Hallelujah. The prophet said, bring me a mystery. Who taught him? Who lectured him? How did he know? He said, I will reveal my dark sayings upon the heart. My heart is indicting a good matter. He said, yea, I speak of excellent things. My tongue 
is the pen of a ready writer. Who taught this man? Who taught the psalmist that praise was a garment that a man can wear? He called it a garment. Not an attitude of praise. A garment of praise. Every time they praise God in the place of war, I noticed they use a coded language. All they said was, for he is good and his mercy endures. It was not any kind of praise. There was a time. It was like a spiritual code. Every time they began to say, for he is good and his mercy endures. He rose as a man of war. Meaning not every word invokes every dimension. There is a kind of language that makes God to operate in a certain way. Are you learning something? Help us, oh God. Look, let me tell you, brothers and sisters, part of my resolutions this year is that I will open us up to deep things. Some of us will be afraid of some of the things we'll be learning. I've been praying and saying, Lord, prepare your people. Because it will rattle the, the foundation of what you know to be Christianity. And you will know that many preachers have lied to us. Hallelujah. So let's prepare our hearts. Because this thing is not the exclusive reserve of one man. It has nothing to do with the boasting of a preacher. Let me tell you something. The hallmark of an apostolic ministry, I will keep saying it till we understand, is not just miracles and signs and wonders and manifestations of the Holy Ghost. There is a dimension of that, right? But the hallmark of the true apostolic ministry is the ability to receive the revelation that is meant for a dispensation. To understand it and communicate it accurately to the people of God. Because the apostolic ministry is dispensational. Are you following me now? And the knowledge of God is also dispensational. Meaning there is a curriculum, there is a scope of understanding that God expects a dispensation to know. Are you following me now? So that what we call eternity means the summation of infinite dispensations. Every dispensation coming with a revelation of God and adding that revelation to another dispensation. Are you following me now? And that means that our dispensation has certain dimensions of God that we must know and we must touch. But it takes the apostolic and the prophetic ministry not just to do signs and wonders and to lay hands and heal the sick. That is important. But to be able to sustain a posture in the spirit such that we can receive these spiritual realities, understand them and interpret them to God's people. And then they will be able to walk in this path and you will see certain possibilities in our lives. Hallelujah. And this is what we aim to do in this place. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. The reality of spiritual laws. Science has taught us that there are laws that govern this earth realm. They teach us in physics and, and chemistry and other aspects of science that there are laws and scientists have been able to come into the recognition of certain physical laws and they have been able to account for the explanation of certain tragedies that have happened to men hallelujah over time scientists began to inquire as to why men will encounter certain inexplainable tragedies and they later discovered that there were laws that were being violated unconsciously. That you do not recognize that there is a law does not mean it's not there. Are you following me now? Praise the Lord. If a child does not know there is gravity and he jumps on a, a, an altitude like this, the child will fall. Gravity will not say, I excuse you. Is that true? There are many other laws. Now, I want you to know that the same way spiritual laws govern this physical physical laws sorry govern this realm there are spiritual laws that govern the operation of the spirit hallelujah you are able to walk very well when you can master the laws physically none of us will find ourselves walking against gravity for instance 
and if by any means you are to walk against gravity you know what to do to be able to remedy the the imbalance that you are creating and so you do not find yourself fighting the laws of nature gravity for instance friction for instance all of these are laws i want you to know that there are spiritual laws say spiritual laws many people have been able to find these laws and walk with these principles and they have been able to do mind-bogging things in the earth realm and as we explore this reality my goal tonight is not so much to share what the laws are as it is to bring us into a recognition that as scattered as spiritual things look as scattered as the earth is there is a rhythm are you getting my point there is an exact synergy there is a sequence there is an equation of the happening of things they are not as haphazard as we think there is a level of order and accuracy god designed the earth it is our inaccurate understanding or total ignorance to his principles that has resulted to certain levels of setbacks and limitations in our lives and in this year of the rain god wants to open us up to a recognition of certain principles and you will find out that what has grounded you for years you will walk cheaply you will now find out that the the enemy that many of us has been have been talking about they are not necessarily the demons out there our ignorance our lack of understanding the laws of god say amen the key to kingdom dominion please write this down the key to dominion the key to influence the key to power the key to wealth is hidden in our discovery of the ancient spiritual laws of the kingdom i'll repeat it again please make sure you are writing something or at least jotting something on your notepad or so on, on the phone or so the key to kingdom dominion the key to influence influence is the capacity to alter people's mindsets the key to power the key to wealth is hidden in our discovery of the ancient spiritual laws of the kingdom there are ancient laws encapsulated in this bible there are laws that are older than us there are laws that predate our dispensation they have been responsible for the rise and the fall of kings they have been responsible for the rise and fall of champions and when we find peace with these laws we will do big things for the kingdom we have come with open hearts oh let the ancient words ancient words ever true changing me and changing you we have come with open hearts Personalize it, say, I have come with an open heart. I have come with open heart. Oh, let me ancient word. Daniel chapter 19. Let's begin our journey so that we can pray. We have come We have come Oh, let 
Daniel chapter 2 from verse 19 to 22. Mandi blakoshi prahata kosi baladaba. The story of a cruel king who slept and had a dream, forgot the dream and forgot the interpretation, and was mounting pressure upon all his wise men and cabinets. And Daniel said, Give us time. And the Bible says he asked for wisdom. And in the night, can we read together verse 19? One to read. Then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. Then Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Verse 20. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever and ever. For wisdom and might are his. 21. He, he changed the times and seasons. He removed kings and set up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. He revealed the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness and the light dwelleth with him. He said, Then was the secret revealed. Brothers and sisters, secrets can be revealed. Not everything is known by every Christian. Are you hearing me? The Bible says the secret things of the Lord are not just with Christians. They are with them that fear him. And he will reveal his covenants. He will show them his covenants. There are mysteries in our world. There are secrets that have been archived in the bowels of the spirit. And it takes men who can press to say, Lord, open my eyes. Show me the secrets. That's why all things are not possible for everybody. Is that true? Kentucky Fried Chicken, one of the great eateries around. Um, they have a secret recipe that till today has not been revealed. Is that true? That secret recipe is what makes them unique. Coca-Cola, till today, they have not revealed the exact formula and combination. Great men dwell upon the strength of secrets. In ancient time, it was a taboo to reveal the deepest of secrets. They were known only by the king and his envoys those we call knights or apostles they were the highest representatives of the king they knew where treasures were hidden in castles they knew secret places of escape in chambers when when they came to defeat a nation they knew how to to invoke the powers of those territories to fight on their behalf it was an access that was given to them and so as his ambassadors, God wants to show us. He doesn't want to hide anything from us. He said, come, let us reason together. I want to show you how I operate the heavens. So that you can draw from this and do wonders in the earth. If you believe that, say amen. So spiritual laws are real. The spirit realm is a real realm of existence. Just like the physical realm. It is only a lot more superior to this realm. This realm is bounded by many things. There are limitations. For instance, this realm is purely three-dimensional. But in the realm of the spirit, there are many dimensions. A lot of people have preached that there are four dimensions, five. I don't believe that. I believe that there are infinite dimensions in the realm of the spirit. Because the possibilities in the spirit are defined by what dimension you can function. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And so I want us to know that the spirit realm is real. The spirit realm is real. And there is a constant interaction between the spirit realm and this realm. Every single one of us under the sound of my voice... And those following us online, every single one under the sound of my voice interacts with the spirit realm every time. Whether you recognize it or not, the condition to, to interact with the spirit realm is just to be alive. 
Remember I began the teaching last week showing us the five elements, right? The elements of creation. We drink water. Is that true? We breathe air. Why don't we breathe dust? We breathe air to live. Air that seems to be immaterial, but we breathe it in our material body to keep us alive. So, our biological composition is, is, a, is a, 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 an intertwining of both this realm and the realm of the spirit. Prosperity is an intertwining of the spirit realm and this realm. Success in life is an intertwining of the realm of the spirit and this realm. The anointing, the ability and the agency of the spirit. When a man stands and you look at somebody with cancer and stretch your physical hand, you may not even make contact with the person and the person starts shaking or the person falls. It tells you that there is something more than what your eyes see. There is an interaction. Is that true? Watch this. I'm speaking to you. There is no, there is no digital connection between my mouth and your heart. But what I am saying is passing through your ears and it has the ability to influence your paradigm because they are spirit and life hallelujah so we must we must rise to this reality that all we see in our world brothers and sisters is not all there is praise the lord all we see is not all there is there is more say there is more in this building right now inside and outside there are more angels than this crowd gathered here and many of them are doing many things as i teach right now some are imparting graces and all of these things right walking in partnership with the spirit and they are not only angels there are also the spirits of just men made perfect testifying like the witnesses that stood with Jesus at the Mount of Transfiguration. Elijah and Moses. Representing the law and the prophet. They are not the only witnesses. There are many others. Enoch, for instance. Right? Many other people. So the Bible says, Ye are come unto Mount Zion. And it begins to tell us all the things that happen in that place. Listen, the earlier you realize that life is entirely spiritual, that the physical manifestation is only a little portion. Hallelujah. Occultists understand this. Politicians understand this. Is that true? I was, I was studying the world religion. I'll give you a few statistics as we progress. Very shocking. I didn't know there was that much religion in the whole world. I thought there were just maybe 100 or 1,000. I will tell you the figure shortly. <laughs> and all these religions have followers. Ardent, committed, die-hard followers. Meaning the spirit of man is searching for something. Searching for a connection with its source. Somehow, mankind knows... That until you interact with this, the spirit realm, there is no stability to your person. There is a longing. So we pray to a deity we call different names for many religions. And we hope that somebody out there of a higher consciousness is listening to us. There are spiritual laws. The same way I can violate gravity and violate other laws and reap the consequences of my disobedience or ignorance that is the same way i can stumble into a spiritual law i do not know and activate its operation unconsciously and suddenly begin to see certain things manifest physically are you hearing what i'm saying and then on the other hand i can deactivate the operation of a spiritual law without knowing and begin to receive a ripple effect in the physical are you following me now so it seems to me like the journey of many christians is 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 a blind dashing into spiritual laws 
we are not exactly sure sometimes we touch something that activates prosperity and ha has that happened to you for weeks you find out that favor is coming everything is happening and then it's like something happens and it's short there are times that you find out that everything you say in prayer comes to pass and then other times you pray and it's as if you are talking to yourself hallelujah there are times you suddenly step into a dimension and seasons and you are having dreams every night and everything you see is coming to pass and then certain times what is responsible for this opening and closing of the gates of the spirit this is what i want to teach you the reality of spiritual news. even for preachers there are times you stand to preach and you sense an unusual open heavens you are just ministering and my goodness scriptures that you you read years ago that you cannot even quote normally suddenly come to your mind and you are quoting them verbatim and other times it looks like you stand and you are wondering i hope i'm not messing up listen if you get what i'm teaching you you will keep certain portals of the spirit open perpetually hallelujah certain people have touched this realm in different forms hallelujah now watch this the fundamental principle i want us to understand as we explore this very sensitive teaching because what i'm going to be saying will rattle many of us hallelujah some of the things that i'm going to be saying will challenge us but i want you to follow me the fundamental principle i want you to have at the back of your mind is that everything created belongs to god you will see the advantage of this statement as we progress everything created belongs to god secondly all power belongs to god hallelujah all power psalm 62 verse 11 please quickly psalm 62 verse 11 it says once have i spoken and twice have you heard that all power everybody shout all power all power you went to school what is your understanding of all power meaning if there is any performance that ever occurs any manifestation of the supernatural in the earth to any degree was either a release or a corruption of power that came from god please follow me god has spoken once twice i have heard this that power belongs to god look up please when a magician takes a white handkerchief please follow me tonight and waves it and brings out a dove out of it what happened what happened hallelujah when a magician slices himself into half and holds the remaining half of him and is walking and bastardizes your knowledge of physics and biology what exactly is happening listen to me he said once have i spoken twice in other words i emphasize it as a witness that all power belongs to god that means the central force in the realm of the spirit is not astrology it's not the constellation the seat of power in the spirit is God himself. Just follow me. Every religion is the hybrid of a man's pursuit to uncover and look for this mystery entity that we call God. And over time, what has happened is, listen, fallen angels, you know, I spoke to you about the pre-Adamite dispensation. We spoke a bit about that, right? realities that predate genesis 1 you find that in job 38 right the creation we spoke a bit now last year this year the creation of angels and all of these things right now watch this let me show you a few mysteries in the bible have you read in your bible that stars fought for a woman called deborah question was she an unbeliever 
Have you had that thing that stars fought for Deborah? Have you had people mention statements like, you were born with 10 stars? Eh? Whether you believe it or not, just follow me. I'm not teaching you Scientology. I'm provoking you to be mature. Just listen to me. Are you following me now? Many of us come from different cultural backgrounds where at one point or the other they have brought somebody to your house. Hello? Baba? Mama? Whatever. They shall brought somebody to your house. And he was able to do certain things. Whether he used cola or not, whether he used whatever, and he began to unveil certain things. Either reveal the person that stole, is that true? Stole money or meat or lied, is that true? And then he began to reveal some things. How many of you have seen people who are not born again? They have never given their life to Christ, yet they have functioned in what you know to be word of knowledge. Is that true? In certain tribes, they call them those whose head has opened. Is that true? People who can see beyond certain things. Listen. God has spoken once. Let it be known to you that when it comes to the realm of the spirit, there are not many forces. There is one force. Everything revolves around him. His name is God Almighty. Whether we accept to call him God Almighty or not. Are you getting my point now? Hmm. So how come Satan can manipulate power how come traditional rulers can manipulate power please follow me how come a man can look at this lady and say look um, you will not give birth case closed he didn't ask her whether she had faith or not he just spoke on the strength of something he has been taught is that true how come people read magical books huh all kinds of books they tell them recite this and the moment they recite it things start happening brothers and sisters am i telling a lie or pastors have been afraid of confronting this issue because if we don't many of us will not know when we have entered witchcraft if all power belongs to god then whose power are witches using follow me if all power belongs to God, then the religions that can turn... There, there, there's the video of a young guy that walked upon water. Physically, he walked upon it. Huh? He walked upon a building sideways and came down. No pastor has done that, at least. I only know one bold pastor who decided his, it was Prophet Daniel, the one that lions tore him into pieces in the bad. That's the closest thing that I know. But the Bible says, once have I spoken, twice, that all. So, is it that God gave it to these demons? No, think about it. Go to Zaria city and meet somebody and say, I want a husband. What's that thing that they carry? Love portion, wealth portion, all kinds of, of things. They give you and one young man is just moving and they blow something towards him. He becomes absolutely confused right and starts pursuing a lady helplessly until she does whatever she wants to do with it now think about that if the bible is telling the truth that all power belongs to god i have a question by the way it will interest you to know that there are four thousand two hundred religions as of today in the world how many four thousand two hundred registered all the 4200 religions where did they get their power from satan does not create anything is that clear do we all agree question was god sleeping did they steal some of the power without his seeing? what is the mystery behind the seeming strengthening of wicked forces some of you have dreams and you see all kinds of spirits appear to you you are trying to call Jesus, they shut your mouth with all your knowing of Jesus. Jesus, and they stand and they laugh. Question, who empowered them? If Satan was created, are you prepared for this year of the rain? 
we are going to talk we are, we are going as deep as God will help us go because we must answer some questions let me tell you when you answer these questions you will, you, you will start laughing at what used to make you cry because when you see it you know that uh -uh, this is the one plus one this is what made it happen and I told you that every time you catch a light what happens in the spirit grace is given to you to walk in that reality so you can see five people struggling over a demon go out go out and you will only pass no prayer light the spirits know what they are seeing you see that because the strength of evil is darkness the bible calls them rulers of darkness not rulers of light whenever there is darkness they are authorized to rule all religions of the world claim to connect people to wealth to joy to happiness to life to peace and to god or some kind of higher cosmic power for assistance that's the whole bit behind every world religion is that not true if somebody comes to take you now and says mary ann i want you to be part of the confucius religion you think you will just come won't i promise you something i'll promise you wealth and happiness i'll promise you that whatever you want speak certain things and it will happen right if Marianne speaks it and it happens she will invite Shei and say Shei it's easier than that other thing you are doing Shei will first say I don't believe it when life presses her to the wall she will adopt it the strength of this religion is that the suffering of mankind is endless and so eventually people will search for solution anyhow are you getting me by the way, many of these religions have their branches in Africa. You would think that our suffering or our, our backwardness in technology will make us say, what is all this? Find out how many Africans do. They are not Christians, they are not Muslims, they are not Hindus, right? They are something else. And they have followers. There is an acclaimed personality in this nation I, I told you that I've repented from mentioning names acclaimed personality who I think for 48 years or thereabout I don't know if it was him or, or his brother or somebody who never came out never came out for about 48 years look even if you are sitting down for 48 years power somehow the devil must come upon you. He must land upon your life and interact with you. Sacrifices that men have made. Now the question is, brothers and sisters, if God is good and God is great and he does not eschew evil, what would be the explanation to the seeming empowerment preachers have thought that the power you have the power satan has is your power or he collected it how did he collect it collect it back the question how did he collect it you know we generalize things that we owe people demon is working with something that is solid and provable hallelujah you prayed about something the answer did not come your brother said, come, let's go and visit somebody. They visited the person in two days. The answer came. Is that true? It's true you gave thanksgiving in church, but we really know where that answer came from. Is that true? A woman cries to God, comes to we preachers, and we prophesy in the name of Jesus. I command that cancer to go. Nothing went. Is that true? They just respect us and they won't publish anything on the newspaper. And they quietly go and meet another person. And they invoke things and they have the baby and women of God come and claim the glory. It's better let's sit down and ask ourselves the truth. And answer these questions. Or keep telling lies. There are many people telling lies in church. Many of the miracles people claim to get in church. I am telling you. They got it outside the church. They consulted a lot of powers. There are families today who will never give their children in marriage until they go and ask certain people. And they confirm is that true whether whether you're a pastor whatever you believe keep your westernization they will go and consult 
even if it means them buying goat, ram, sheep, human being, they will consult. Is that true? What then is this mystery? There are five religions, major religions, out of the 4,200. The first is Hinduism. The second is Buddhism. The third is Islam. The fourth is Christianity. And the fifth is New Age. There's no time and it's not within the scope of the teaching to tell you what this individual sect, if I will call them, believe. There are others who believe, like the Hindus, for instance. Hindus believe there is one great God, but he expresses himself in many ways. Meaning there are many ways to approach him. Right? So they can have many kinds of deities or envoys that help you communicate to this God. And they believe in several doctrines of reincarnation. Buddhism. Many people think Buddhism worship Buddha. No. They just feel that Buddha is the person who has been able to attain that highest level of consciousness as they call it. And so they model after his life. Same with all the other religions. New age is the recent teachings that was perpetrated by the kingdom of darkness. Under new age, you are God. It's a, it's a little stealing away from the Bible. All these religions, there's no time. I would have proven to you that they all have their origin from the Bible. That's why they can prove to any Christians. That's why Christians are the most vulnerable. Is that true? They take Bible and show you what supports their belief. And you say, wow, this thing is in the Bible. Meaning God must support it. There comes that theory that all roads still lead to the same God. Have you heard those, those devilish teachings? And so people tell you, don't worry. When you go to the Habalists, you say, look, don't be scared with all this color not I'm doing. It's still the same thing. It's just different ways of invoking the same God. And then he invokes the color not and he says, Psalms 1 verse 3. I say, ah, Psalms, Abba. I know Psalms. Go ahead. Right? To now justify that because Psalms 1 was mentioned, God is in it. Is that true? What deceit. What deceit. All power belongs to God. Now watch this. I want you to know this. The fallen angels. Hallelujah. Those we call the fallen angels. I've taught us but I'll repeat it again just for the sake of establishing a few things. The fallen angels. When they came to the earth. Please listen to me. They interacted with men. And part of that interaction was responsible for supplying certain deep informations don't forget that they were all in heaven right certain laws are god's own laws and they are made to happen how many of you go to the farm and pray and fast for crops to grow please tell the truth after you sow you go back and say oh god no once you sow it to the earth you go back a man can kill another man and steal his land and sow and still reap a bumper harvest because of the existence of physical laws so it is god has put spiritual laws are you getting my point now for spiritual laws to work please come i'm establishing something come sir for spiritual laws to work in the spirit a spirit must assist you in activating its operation are you getting the rules for any spiritual law at all to work there must be a spirit entity that will assist you. It is in partnership with a spirit before any spiritual law can be activated. So if I am a magician and I'm doing a lot of abracadabra, for instance, there must have been a spirit that was invoked, appeased, or a demand is placed upon him. Is that true? Now, let's explain our traditional festivals. What happened? What is the whole goal of many traditional festivals? They first appease certain spirits, either with people who must die or sacrifices. And when those spirits are appeased, the mediums that interface between the realm of the spirit and the physical realm, let the people know that, ah, this goat, the spirit has, has eaten it. Although you are seeing a physical goat, the priest ends up eating the flesh 
physically uh, uh, the honorarium the, the, everything goes to the priest but i'm saying that the whole goal is that the sacrifice has been received is that true that's what happens no man by his strength can activate spiritual laws are you getting my point there must be the assistance of a spirit watch this i want to shock you now the holy spirit is not the only spirit that can activate spiritual laws just follow me the holy spirit is not the only spirit that can activate spiritual laws the spirits of dead men can activate spiritual laws ancestral spirits can activate spiritual laws demons and spiritual wickedness that operate in the heavenlies on the strength of the fact that they are spiritual entities they can guide men to activate spiritual laws watch this so there is a universal law in the spirit for anything to be of god and to carry to carry god's signature there is only one spirit that validates are you getting my point the holy spirit is the only spirit authorized the most holy spirit of god the only one authorized to activate any spiritual law such that god becomes involved and the glory goes to god are you getting my point that means watch this it is possible that i can use magic power and look at sam and do a miracle a real miracle it happens but it did not happen by the spirit of god but because it is a manipulation of a spiritual law it will happen accurately are you getting what i'm saying that means i can give a woman a child but not by the spirit of god is that true i can use the advantage of my partnership with another spirit and remove cancer from her stomach and put back another spirit that means i can receive word of knowledge from a spirit accurate word of knowledge but not from god are you are you getting what i'm saying when you understand this listen to me you will hold the holy spirit as a matter of life and death are you getting my point now the problem with many men of god is when they started their journey they started with the holy spirit but they allowed their passion to make them leave the holy spirit so when the holy ghost said wait i'm schooling you in this area they said i'm in a hurry i must enter prophecy i must enter this holy ghost you can go and another holy spirit another spirit really not holy another spirit continued the journey are you getting the point and because they seem to have been progressing in spiritual things that spirit of deception made them feel that is the continuation of the ministry of the holy spirit so although in them they feel something is wrong there is there is a mixing many men of god in this country around that we call fake are not fake even those who do magic most of what has happened is a perversion are you getting me they went under certain people certain hands were laid in them and certain demonic forces were invoked to begin to work with them and it activated certain possibilities and they started gaining knowledge on certain laws is god helping us or are you afraid of the teaching you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul i know you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul for you are being changed his glory has been revealed 
when the spirit takes over your soul. Listen, when you hear us talk a lot about the Holy Spirit and emphasize Him, it is because there are other spirits already. And if you do not embrace the Spirit of God, you will meet with another one eventually. The day you need a job, you will meet with one. Hear me, look up. You never go to a herbalist and return the same way you came. Did you hear what I said? You never, impossible, every man communicates to you out of the strength of the spirit that assists him. If you come to me for help and I'm a magician and you are watching me do the magic, you finish and say, nice man. You think you just left, but you did not leave alone automatically that's why you will return again someone makes you return the people inside and outside both those who wanted to come or did not come the spirit of the living god drew you is that true when you understand these brothers and sisters you will not be impressed just by everything that happens physically you will seek to know what is the motivation and the spirit behind the operation Many of us are, are very, once you see supernatural things, you are happy. It doesn't matter whether it came from the pit of hell or wherever. You are just happy. Right? And right now, we live in a generation where many people want to enter prophecy. Young people want to enter prophecy. And, and, and they want to enter world of knowledge. They want to enter dimensions. Now, nothing is wrong with that. It's because of the revival that is coming. But Satan is already preparing a major deception because he has seen it that's one of the reasons why i'm teaching this there is a major arsenal of deception that the devil wants to release to the nigerian church where there will be an outburst of a seeming outpouring but it's not the outpouring of the holy ghost and you will see men move in charismatic dimensions you will see people do things like angels right almost no limits to their impossibilities and even they themselves would not know that they are being deceived are you seeing why the book of revelations and the rest prays that even the elect can be deceived i have prayed for many people in meetings anointed people ministers of the gospel and as i minister to them i may never get to tell them but they may think what they are receiving in that meeting was impartation what they were receiving was first deliverance from a strange spirit. Acts chapter 16. Don't turn there. Remember a lady who had the spirit of divination. Is that true? Did she give people word of knowledge? Please answer me. And the Bible says when some businessmen found her, they said you are exactly what you are looking for. And they started using her. You pay money to prophesy. You think if the people were not getting results, they will come back? They were getting results. She will say this will happen and it will happen and when paul i like paul so two spirits paul had a word of knowledge her too she had her own word of knowledge two spirits right and paul looks at her and she begins to say these are great men of god you know what she was looking for she was looking for partnership because human beings cannot discern the difference so that she knew that Paul was only visiting the city. So let's be friends. So that when you leave the city, they will say, Ah, ah, if Paul is not here, I am here. Pastors, hear me. You must be careful in this day and age. The kinds of meeting and ministerial associations you join yourself with. There are many of us, they invite you everywhere to preach with everybody. And your answer is yes, sir. You think you are saving sinners. You will enter the midst of devils without knowing. And they will corrupt the authenticity of the grace of God upon your life. Are you getting what I'm saying? It will be a three-day meeting. You will be the one to start first. You will start and there will be mighty signs and wonders. When you finish, devils will come and hug you and you will snap together. And then the next day, people will come and they will say, Just like the servant of God ministered yesterday, we are continuing. And people will catch strange spirit. There are meetings people have gone to. The moment they left the meeting, lust came upon their lives. And they started looking for ladies uncontrollably. They fell under the anointing. They rolled around and prayed in tongues. And the brother got up with miracle power and love for girls. 
confusion. How can I be moving so much in the anointing? Right? Or somebody gets up and just begins to steal. The reality of spiritual laws. We constantly interact with this law. Watch this. Spiritual laws are very powerful because they are not only creative, they can change realities in this physical realm. Are you following my teaching now? That is the reason why a magician can hold a handkerchief and say, Sam, hold it. They say, roll it. And Sam will roll it. And Sam will bring out a fowl. How does handkerchief change to a fowl? Right? What they simply did was to take advantage of the laws of creation and manipulate it. Are you getting my point? And what is the goal? The goal is to convince you to come into partnership with the spirit that is assisting them. The spirit that is assisting them is not assisting them for nothing. I hope you know that. When Jesus was on the earth, he was not the only one doing miracles. I hope you know. Remember there was a certain time the disciples were angry and they were complaining that there are some people that are doing miracles somewhere else. Jesus, you are the happening man. Where did this, and we are your other people. So if it's not you, it should be us. Where are these strangers coming from again? And Jesus made a very controversial statement. He said, whoever is not, what? Against us, is for us. Ah! Spiritual laws. So Deborah could look at the stars and say, stars, I understand what you represent to the inhabitants of the earth. Align yourself in a way that the powers that the men use for war will not work. And the Bible says the stars fought for Deborah with the permission of God. Joshua, my namesake in the Bible, what happened to him? He looked at the sun and said, if this sun goes down, they are going to kill our people. Because of that, sun stand still. Right? Daniel went to bed and the secret was revealed. And he said, oh king, I know what you saw. You saw a being, an image stand with the head of gold, the breastplate of silver, and you saw clay mixed with metal at his feet. And he began to describe the fall of different empires, the Christian empire, the Babylonian empire, and down to the new age that attempts to communicate towards virtual reality. That's the last empire. The feet that is a mixture of clay and iron. One side the government is soft. On another side the government is hard. It's a mystery. He saw it described. Brothers and sisters, listen to me. The, the proof that God is in a thing is not just in the result. But the spirit that initiates and sustains that process. This is where I'm driving at. The proof that a thing is of God. The Holy Ghost must be both the initiator and the sustainer of that spiritual process. Otherwise, it is fetish, it is demonic, it is from darkness. Even if it produces a real result, I'm giving you the reason now. It's producing a real result because it was the manipulation of a physical law or a spiritual law. And because of the advantage of the superiority of the realm of the spirit over the physical realm, it will produce results. Watch this. Every spirit that initiates a process leaves a signature of itself upon that process. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When Julius Baga builds, what do they leave? They build their, their logo. Is that true? If PW builds, they leave everything. Meaning, if Satan gives a child, he will leave his signature. Right? If Satan heals the sick, he will leave his signature. When you know this, you will know the reason why many people do not experience complete deliverance or complete healing or many there are many reasons 
but the major reason is because satan comes to steal kill and to destroy so although he uses spiritual law there must be darkness in his operation so satan will give you a miracle that will create another problem right one miracle that creates another problem and you come to him he gives your family money and then gives another person the spirit of drunkenness when you come as drunkenness is being solved barrenness follows right there is a signature one law being activated and causes another one that's why it is the blessing of the lord that can make rich and the, there will be no sorrow there is always a signature of darkness that signs upon whatever comes from satan please hear me tonight not every open door is anointed the fact if you force a door in the spirit it will open thank you jesus christ there are secular musicians that sing and for those of us who used to listen to their songs or those who listen around as we pass by when you hear their voices you know that this voice is it has a glory that is not physical are you getting me spiritual laws manipulated but they must pledge allegiance to the spirit that assisted them that's why you listen to the music and physically you receive the glory that looks like from heaven but it does something to your spirit man because those laws help satan to continue his agenda in the earth is god speaking to us tonight so number one realize that there are spiritual laws number two realize that no man can activate the operation of spiritual laws until assisted by a spirit entity number three there are many spirits that can activate spiritual laws spirits of the dead all kinds of fallen spirits but god has only one spirit that is permitted authorized to search his heart and activate these laws according to his counsel for man and the name of that spirit is the spirit of the living god is the holy ghost spirit of the living god is the whole is number one we have not allowed the spirit of god to teach us these operations of the spirit so that we can align ourselves with these laws of the spirit i may just touch on one of the law or maybe two of the laws really we'll just touch on two of those spiritual laws and then we'll just end because i want us to pray hallelujah praise the lord laws of the spirit watch this this guy is playing this did you know that he's activating a law a spiritual law what he's playing is a language your senses don't understand but your spirit understands it that's why you want to sit down and keep listening to it are you hearing what i'm saying the melodies you know why many people are addicted to secular music honestly it's not just that they are bad people is that those melodies are languages they draw your spirit but because those who sing them have fraternized with certain spirits they draw you and they induce the operation of certain strange spirits so you hear him playing what he's playing he's playing the strings and he's, he's doing something to your spirit man if a heavily sits down and plays you will keep enjoying and you will fall down but not under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. You will fall down and stand up and something will land on you. Are you getting that now? So it matters what spirit you sit under. It matters what spirit produces the result that you celebrate. It matters not just that results are being produced. Brothers and sisters, hear me. If we do not rise to understand the laws of the spirit, we who are the sons of light, I want you to know that many people will run to the devil and he will give them the result they want by operating spiritual laws and take their souls in exchange if we do not rise to contend for the power and the grace that will cause fruitfulness in the life of women 
they will go to Babala was every day. We can be grumbling and be calling everybody fake and calling everybody. We have to be careful because some of us are the ones who are fake. Not just because we are going to have a list, but we have refused to hold on to that which is real. See that? Praise the Lord. The Holy Spirit must be the initiator and the sustainer of every spiritual knowledge we receive. This becomes our only guarantee to escape perversion. The Holy Spirit is the only guarantee that will escape perversion. Please let me surprise you and understand me. You can take just this Bible verbatim without the presence of the Holy Spirit. You can still hold, get into error. Are you getting me? You can still hold the Bible blindly and you will still get into error. There are many people who go to Habalis. I counsel a lot of people. And some people come and meet me and they or their children or wives have gone to Habalis. And they say they go to the Habalis and they see many books and they see Holy Bible. Holy Bible was produced by a publishing company. Some of the people who produce this thing are not even born again. Is that true? They are just doing business. Zondervan or whatever publishing company. But it is the presence of the spirit of the living God. Meaning a demon spirit can still come upon this and give it another interpretation. That's why every sect of the Christian faith uses this. But they got another interpretation by the interaction of strange spirits. Genesis 11. That's what happened to Nimrod Kush, the origin of witchcraft. Nimrod Kush, these fallen angels appeared to him. In fact, before Genesis 11, the days of Noah... The Bible says strange aliens started coming upon the earth. Is that true? And they started sleeping with the daughters of men. Brothers and sisters, our ladies are smart people. Do you think an angel will just come with wings and horn and say, um, Marianne, I'm in love with you. Wouldn't you run? If you see a beast with tail, with horn, says, I'm, before he says, I'm in love, you will run away. These beings were not daft. They came and walked like men. I told you angels don't have wings. And there is no record of angels with wings in the Bible. Those who have wings are cherubims. In fact, angels appeared with people. They ate with people in the Bible. Is it not true? Angels ate with people in the Bible. When the angel appeared to Mary, she didn't say, I'm afraid. She wondered what the salutation, not the angel. Meaning they had been seeing them. When the angel appeared to Zechariah and all of these kinds of people, it is the seraphs that cover cartoon films have have created these things based on their interpretation and now we are not criticizing them but they have not helped us to understand the reality of spiritual things <laughs> hallelujah are we following now ah i sense the presence of god there are so many spiritual laws i want you to know that if I ask you what are the physical laws, you will name them. Sir Isaac Newton, in his study of mechanics, came up with several laws, right? There are the, the are fundamental laws, first, second, third law. There are all kinds of laws. Laws of thermodynamics, conservation of matter, physics and chemistry has all kinds of law. Newton's law of universal gravitation. There are all kinds of law. Chemistry, Le Chatelier's principle of equilibrium. All kinds, the Schrodinger equation. All of these things are men and women coming together in an attempt to explain laws. There are laws that guide our understanding into quantum physics. Right? When we do chemistry, qualitative analysis, and all of that, we try to use the colors or, or the things that emanate from solutions to be able to help us know what um, ion or whatever it is that is there. All of these are physical laws. In the same way, there are spiritual laws. Spiritual laws. Spiritual laws. Bless you, Sam. Sorry. Hallelujah. Let's touch on two of these laws, can we? I read an article. There is a powerful series on finance. When we are teaching that one, we will share it. But let me give you the preview. 
the anchor scripture to that that series is thou anointest my head with oil and my cup runneth over there was a relationship between the anointing on his head and the running over of the cup thou anointed my head with oil and my cup runneth over hallelujah now a wealthy man was once asked what the secret of his wealth was and i got to find out that all he said was he found an ancient manual right a manual that dates 2300 years ago written by a greek philosopher that manual they seem they said seemed to contain some magic powers that even if you read just the title alone fortunes will begin to come to you I know some of you with all this message will say, where is that manual? I can ask God for forgiveness. Where is that manual? <laughs> Repent, this is the year of the rain. Many of you have, have suffered. It doesn't matter what. Where is that? Some of you will go and browse it after this, this meeting. Is there an online version? Let me go come and read it and come for miracle service. Hallelujah. That means... You know what these Illuminati and secret societies and all these occultic organizations do? They are men and women who interacted with these spirit beings and they reveal to them a lot of these spiritual laws. They reveal to them that this universe is not just sand. They reveal to them that air is not just air. Water is not just water. And they have excellently archived this principle through centuries. Right? Let me tell you. These were the very principles that kings used. Did you hear that in ancient times, king has, kings had scrolls and certain things were written. In fact, part of the writings were magic formulas that would open certain doors. You see them in some of the films that you watch. All these things were an aberration of spiritual laws. What does that tell you? That means truly all things are available for life and godliness. If we can allow the Holy Spirit to take the word of God and guide us all things are really possible hallelujah one of the most prominent business law among many business people is what they call the law of attraction i i don't believe it in that sense and that law teaches that it is is a is an extension of of newton's law of universal gravitation that the earth is a living thing right and it begins to say all kinds of things and it credits the power to modern nature it makes it look like modern nature is supervising our, our, our activities. That's, that's demonic from the pit of hell. The devil will never give credit to God. And they have used it and made children brilliant in school. They have used those laws. How many of you have, 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 have seen all these things they spoke about? Uh, they speak about hypnotism and all of this. So I know I'm stretching you tonight. Some of you are wondering, who am I now? Am I a Christian? No, <laughs> listen i'm training you because one day many of you who want to go abroad you will go abroad and you will look for living faith and dunamis and redeem you will not find anywhere the only one you will find is a temple a temple you must greet the priest to resume your work and once you go there they will look at you and when you will not bow they will ask you questions and you say in koinonia I was taught abc and they love they say really you know, lack of exposure is what is making some of us comfortable with this our Christianity. Because we think the whole world is like Zaria. When you go out of this place and see the way people hate God, you will know you need more to stand. Is that true? That's why God refused you from going abroad. Because you would have, you would have, you would have converted. Two days you would, have, you would have left God. By the time they bamboos your mind, and then they tell you, okay, just read this portion and you read this portion and you go out and people start calling you from nigeria and sending you money so what is going on ah say so let me read the other parts that i didn't read again you think you won't do it hallelujah and the holy spirit has guided me through these spiritual laws a lot of them have been preached in the body of Christ. 
but even those who have preached them have not preached them with the level of revelation and gravity they just preach them because one person had another man of God preach it hallelujah number one my goodness pray in tongues for one minute say Lord open my eyes something is about to change in your life now I've had several encounters through the word of God I'm about to share with you I've read it in books over the years but when God began to open me up to it it changed my life forever Proverbs chapter 23 verse 7 Let's see how far God will help us. We have to stop somewhere to pray. What you are about to learn must change you. I'm telling you, you will be so changed, you will be surprised. Many of you will carry the presence of God. You will carry the glory of God. You will see breakthroughs happen in your life in ways that will surprise you. Everybody read, please. One, two, read. Just the first portion, the first clause, one to read. Listen, the Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, it didn't say so he will become, so he already is. As a man thinketh in his heart, so he so he. I learned and I have seen it. I taught the heads of department during our retreat a bit of it and the Lord has permitted me to share this now. That your life, listen to me, your environment and the quality of your life is a reflection of both your mindset and the sum total of your belief system. Listen to me. Your life, the quality of your life today the quality of your life, the quality of your environment, the quality of the works of your hands and the things that you do is a direct reflection of your ideologies, a direct re reflection of your perceptions about God, about life, about wealth, about whatever it is. The Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, that means your life will eventually open up and reveal to the physical what is in your heart. A powerful spiritual law that your life and your environment will eventually become a reflection of your reality. My goodness. My goodness. That means heaven is a revelation of God's mindset. Heaven is a reflection of the excellency of his thoughts. Earth is a reflection of the mindset of mankind. Selfishness. Watch this. I don't know if it was last week or so that, that I said it. I think I shared it during the retreat. Take a security man. Is that true? Take him to the office. Assuming you have a, a corporation with three story buildings the last story building belongs to the ceo take the security man to that story building leave him there for two weeks that office will start reflecting his mindset right immediately because when the man sits on that chair his mindset will refuse that reality first he will feel he does not qualify for it and then second he will be afraid because he would think that after a while they will come and take it so he will say let me steal and loot the first thing is he will remove whether what did i say that day stabilizer he will steal the stabilizer and run away and sell it and say how can you put a the big stabilizer ten thousand is the, i mean the, the light is regulated from nepa on or, or what what they call them power holding company praise god so he will steal it. The next time he will see a beautiful artwork and he will say, how much will they sell this one, please? 
you say 20,000 I say go and sell it there are two sell one and leave one right you give him a glass cup he says no package them together let's sell it buy me a rubber cup please I'm, I'm contented his mindset is already playing out he will step into the place dirty and won't clean it right he will eat food and leave it there he will litter document he will take any piece of paper and clean water with it not knowing what the document is at the end of two weeks that office has reflected his ideology that's why those who get who wants to be a millionaire none of them ends up being a true millionaire after five years because what they are, what they have gotten does not subscribe to the truth the principles that brought it you never become wealthy by receiving dash money i'm telling you this there are people who receive hundred thousand every month maybe from parents or well-wishers but the revelation they have about prosperity about god about money drives wealth away from them is that true are you getting me there are men of god whose churches you will never see miracles happen because there is a mindset about miracles they have that will never allow the holy spirit to bless people is that true they don't want to see anybody fall under the anointing they don't disturb us with noise we want order in this church and because of that although they are god fearing the holy spirit wants to do great things but their ideology so listen to me the only way to change your life is to change your mindset and your perception listen to me i was teaching the leaders and i taught them this i told them do you know why some ministries have the best of everything have you wondered why you see certain ministries the best keyboardists the best um computer um people the best sound people let me tell you why because the 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 mindset of that man right will bring to that ministry people who are consistent with his ideology there goes the same birds of the same feathers do what so the bible says this in proverbs chapter 4 now right 4 verse 23 he says guard your heart you see that with all diligence this is the bible he said keep thy heart with all diligence for out of it are what the issues the quality of your life is locked up within your mindset i believe god for anything i believe god can take this ministry to any height hallelujah i do not ever believe that there can be limitations in the work of god that's my mindset right that's why you see members of living faith for instance they are men of faith because they are a reflection of the conviction of the founder being a man of rugged faith it's in living faith you hear that a man died and they carried him and rubbed oil from his head to his toe till he came back and they come to testify do you have the gods to do that kind of thing it's in living faith you hear that a man died and for three days his wife was with the man on the bed and said you are still my husband you are alive and after three days he comes back to life he did not need to necessarily change them he first changed himself listen if you are not changed your words will not carry power your words only reflect the authority based on the change that has occurred in you that's why see let me tell you if Creflo Dollar or any of these people who are really well, they come right now and teach you on prosperity, some of you will be crying and you hate poverty forever. Not necessarily because what they are sharing is deep. They are communicating their reality. If Sam comes and holds the mic and begins to worship, what he is reflecting to you is an overflow of his reality. The deposit of the anointing within him. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's why you can listen to another musician and nod your head. And Frank Edwards, for instance, can sit on his keyboard and play the same song and you are crying. Brothers and sisters, leaders influence people by becoming the change they want the people to be. Right? That means when I become convicted by my ideologies, 
it will influence your perception and it will be easy to change you that's why the more successful a man becomes the easier it becomes to influence others because his life now has sufficient testimonies are we getting blessed many of us want to see changes in our lives in 2015 hear me change will never come if you are still blaming people you and god in partnership with his word are the only requirements for that change to come if you do not allow the word of god to renew your mindset i promise you you will never get anything in your life that has not first become a reality and a deposit in your spirit is somebody hearing what i'm saying that's where it is out of this that all kinds of religions bring a lot of metaphysics and what they call um, astral meditation, right? So they tell you, put a picture of the, the jeep and you look at it and say, ah! They say, now see yourself in the jeep. They say, I'm driving. You see, that is madness. But I'm only trying to tell you that they stole those laws. They are an aberration, a corruption of spiritual laws that's why whenever god wants to bless a man god convinces you and makes sure you agree with him if you don't agree with him it will never happen in your life for a long time god kept telling abraham i want to change you abraham could not get it because of his idol worship mentality and god said come out i don't know what to do to come out he said start counting the stars abraham was counting and he was seen he will count and miss god said do it just continue and his mind was acclimatizing and abraham said wow and the bible says finally abraham believed and it was counted unto him for righteousness when the angel appeared to gideon gideon said oh, oh, don't deceive me the angel took time he didn't quarrel gideon because he knew that if gideon did not agree with him nothing will happen and gideon said i need proof let the cloth be wet let the ground be dry he said no problem if that's what it takes to adjust your mindset to authorize us go ahead and gideon said now don't be offended let the cloth be dry i i want to convince myself when mary said how shall these things be gabriel owed her an explanation and it took time to explain and she said i believe although i've never seen how a woman gives birth without a man but i believe and he said be it unto me according to your word instantly she got pregnant zechariah had seen a lot of spiritual laws that's why when he doubted gabriel he said, let's shut the mouth of this man he's going to use the next spiritual law i'm about to teach you to change what we want to do is somebody learning something hear me this is what makes ministry easy i never spend time just wondering how do we publicize to get crowd koinonia will be a reflection of the quality of both the spiritual the intellectual and the physical ideologies of the leaders you change a system by changing the leaders are you hearing what i'm saying many of our fathers did not change themselves they took one bottle of gouda and slapped you when you took one cup did you change you see that because they have become a reality for you and they are saying if i catch you drinking that's the day i'll kill you go and buy me gulda job they just finished talking to you and they said go and buy it please hear me if you want to see changes in your life you are going to have to find out what ideologies have kept me where i am there are some of you who never believe god can bless you right as you're looking at me right now if god even says he will give you hundred thousand you say amen you know that kind of unbelieving amen listen let's not make god look like a liar this is the year of the rain there are some of you who god wants you to walk in levels of anointing you have never seen there are some of you who want to god wants you to walk in certain depths but do you believe him there is nothing God has told me that I've not believed. I don't announce things till I'm sure I've believed it. When I believe it, I don't care who believes it again. So be it. The word of the Lord will come to pass. When God told Noah, he said, rain is coming. Build an ark. Do you think Noah just said, yes, sir? No. Noah would have said, God, 
my name is Noah. Your name is Yahweh. You're, you are almighty. We are not the same. Convince me. Convince me. When Noah was convinced, after 120 years, based on X timing, he still didn't give up. We talk about Abraham who waited 25 years. What of Noah? Noah waited 120 years. I'm sure people will say, look, when we were 50 years, when I gave birth to three children, this stupid man was busy building this ark. He has been searching for gopher wood around the whole world to build, searching for gum, searching for a lot of things. And then when he finished, we now saw him going to the jungle, looking for every kind of bed. Imagine what they would have told his wife. Say, madam, did you have to marry this man? But listen, one day, one day, his confidence in God showed him. Listen, you may be tight in now. Kalaka tabaladaba. You are seeing what God is doing in your life. You are seeing the anointing of the Spirit upon your life. It may not show. The Bible says, why we look not at the things that are what? Seen. But the things that are unseen, I'm giving you a scriptural proof. It said, for the things that are seen are what? Temporal. That means there is a level of confidence and renewal that can change anything you see before you. Brothers and sisters, do you believe this? Pastor Jakes is here, he will testify. Right from when the ministry, this used to be all of us. We form a, Aaron is here. We form a circle. And all just sit down on the floor. I made certain statements like a fool. Right? But today, and listen, this is not even it yet. You wait and see what God will do with us. Oh, I believe him. I believe him. Absolutely. Carve upon my heart this truth that sets me free according to your do you know your academic situation can change please i'm speaking to somebody do you know your destiny can change if you keep thinking we are the helpless nigerians i guarantee you after 50 years you will celebrate golden jubilee suffering but i will feed nations huh I may be rubbing granite oil as, as, as Vaseline, but a day will come. Why we look not? Brothers and sisters, as I look at you, I don't see the weak you. That's why I say, as I look at you, I see nations. Nations. Who told you you will not be the mother of nations? I'm 30 years. So what? So what about 30 years? Would you stand and say, I saw when I was 23, I know that the Lord told me I'm giving birth to a prophet and it's going to arise. That vision is still there. I am convinced. Yeah. The things that we see are subject to change. One day you are taking your bath and you see growths and tumors all around your body. You just say, hey, this is how I'm going to die. Cancer. And the devil said, not just cancer, fibroid, fibroid. Notice, do you know that many sick people may carry certain sicknesses for years and never fall sick because doctor has not told them. Now doctors, don't be, don't be sad. I'm just saying, because you did, you did not know it was not your reality. Many men were carrying prostate cancer carrying all kinds of things many ladies carrying fibroids carrying a lot of things and nothing happened to them but the day they looked and said do you know do you really know the implication of ss are you aware that the way that this has been happening you won't get a child in fact the way we are looking cat is your womb self it's not looking like the womb of a human being you just say ah and you now start saying that means no marriage a godly brother comes and you say, my brother, I'm pitying you. I don't want you to suffer in this life. Reality. I hope you are laughing and you are seeing. I'm telling you the secret to some of these results that you see. These are my contemplations. Those who know me know that my reality is defined. I never surround myself with nonsense. 
you don't come around me gossiping and, and gossiping and speaking because i know that i am absolutely in control this has become the mirror to my world this is how i see things i only see things consistent when i'm going for a meeting i know there will be an outpouring of the spirit i don't care whether they have faith or not i don't care whether they can believe or not whether they are instrumentalists to charge the atmosphere or not is irrelevant when i step there i know that i bring an atmosphere i carry my own spiritual climate me and the holy spirit a team the workers in this ministry have received of this spirit that's why in the afternoon they arrange chairs and they dress who guaranteed them that you were coming? Did you sign a form? We having the same spirit of faith as it is written. Koinonia, hear me tonight. We are only 23 or 24 days into January. You can sit down with this, your belief system, and you will celebrate Christmas in this condition. Or you can rise up. Ah, but I know people who love God, they have died. I know people who love God, things have happened. Brothers and sisters, we are talking about you here, not your neighbor. The just shall live by his faith. Hallelujah. Do you believe this? I read a story of somebody 109 years, still alive. In fact, three women. They were even putting makeup. 109 years and strong in the midst of this wicked world they don't expect what do you expect in your life see these are powerful spiritual laws the second law give me five minutes genesis chapter one verse three quickly please the creative power of words i know that we have been taught that words are powerful but I want to show you the spiritual dimension of words. There is a reason why God called himself the word. You know why God named himself the word. It says, and God did what? And God, not and God wished. Not and God expected. Not and God complained. He said the earth was dark and void and formless. And God, the talking spirit, said. The word said there doesn't mean and God declared. What it meant was God commanded it to be so. The word said there does not just mean and God recited. No, God didn't recite anything. Say I'm healed, I'm healed. That's recitation. You are not talking. What many people have been talking in the body of Christ that they are calling confession is recitation. I'm telling you this. The word confess comes from the Greek word homologio. It's not just repeat what you say. It's you are giving an empowerment to say it. I prophesy as I was commanded. He said, and God said, let there be light. And there was light. And you read the verses down the line. It says, and God said, and he saw. And God said, and he saw. And God said. And he saw listen to me words are powerful because when you speak a word it activates spiritual laws and activates other laws listen to me there are many laws that make realities to work the key to activating their operation is in words are you hearing what I'm saying so when you speak whether you realize it or not something is loose and something is tied it depends on what is loose and what is tied. Please follow me. The Bible says, how did he put it now? Whatsoever you bind, right? Do you bind just by tying a rope? Jesus looked at a fig tree and he didn't need to say, the law of fruitfulness cease operation from this tree. The law of regeneration, stop. I command the fertilizer, don't enter the root again. He just used words and activate all the laws that needed to be activated for that tree to shrink. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So instead of learning all the laws, God gives you the keys that activates them. Are you getting what I'm saying? So when I declare and I say, I am healed, 
I release a lot of spiritual laws. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If we stand now and I declare, I say in the name of Jesus, the power of God will start moving in this place. Suddenly you hear people falling and shouting. Why didn't it happen now? Listen. The words that I'm speaking are activating both the operation of angels, the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Our words activate the dimension of God that is revealed in a meeting. That's why when during miracle service, the worship people sing songs that invoke that dimension. Are you getting what we are saying? If you know this, you will know that from morning till night, some of you have activated woes and tragedies in your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Listen, let's, let me show you a few scriptures at time. Uh, I've been fighting. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. We've been closing so late. We'll see what we can do about it. It's just the passion in my heart. Psalm 141 verse 3. Media, please help us. Let's rush so that we get up and round up. Psalms 141 verse 3. It says, set a watch, O Lord, before where? And do what? Keep a door. Knowing that every time I speak, my mouth didn't just open. A door opened in the spirit. The opening of my mouth is the opening of a door in the spirit. It says, set a watch. Oh God, this my mouth can lead me in trouble. So set a watch. Set a watch over my mouth. Numbers chapter 14 verse 28. Zipra tokashila kariata koso brande katayara. Numbers 14 verse 28 Very quickly Everyone read Want to read 28, 28 Say unto them As truly as I live saith the Lord As ye have spoken in my ears So I will do what As I hear you say Not wish he said, let the redeemed of the Lord. He already called you redeemed, but he said, say it. Let the shield of the Lord say so. Let the prosperous of the Lord say so. Let the anointing of the, the anointed of the Lord say so. They are not reminding themselves. They are activating that reality. Everybody say, when I speak, I activate realities. Say it again. When I speak, I activate spiritual laws. That's right. It depends on what law you activate. But something must be activated. When you understand this, you will know that words are expensive. Let's look at just two more verses. Proverbs 18, verse 21. If you can look at that. Proverbs 18. You can write it down. Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord. You are greatly to be praised. Listen. Death and life are where? Did he say death and life are on top of your head? Did he say death and life are? He says death and life are in the power. The proceeds of the tongue. And like a seed. They that love it shall eat the fruit that grows from that seed. The Bible says the seed is the word. In the parable of the sower. What is the seed? Meaning every time you speak, you sow the seed. Is that true? He said the seed is the word. So when I begin to speak, even in tongues I'm sowing, I'm activating laws in the spirit. When I begin to pray, my day is blessed. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I am lifted. I'm activating spiritual laws and I authorize the spirit of God to begin to schedule opportunities, to schedule certain things. And you find out that after prayer, you activate laws of favor. As you are stepping out, you bump into your destiny helper. You call it coincidence. The Bible calls it life that your tongue released. That's why Job said, what I have feared most has come upon me.
Proverbs 13 verse 3. Proverbs 13 verse 3. Please let's read it together. He that keepeth his mouth. Stop. How do you keep your life? Insurance. Answer me. I'm not against insurance. Do life assurance, life insurance. But the Bible, the written word of God, the living logos. He that keep how do you keep your life in the spirit? By keeping your mouth. Papa Hagin said this. Kenneth Copeland said this. Those guys said these things. So many people. I speak life. I speak life. I speak life. He said, I said before you life and death. I said before you blessing and cursing. But I can only advise you. Choose. He said, he that keepeth his mouth. Keepeth what? He said, but he that openeth wide his lips. Speaking nonsense any day, any time, and saying it does not matter. He says that he shall have what as a fruit, brothers and sisters. Listen, ladies, when we are wait, when we are about to pray in the midst of your prayer, you will lay your hands on your womb and pray and say, No devil, no devil. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Some of you are afraid right now. The rate at which ladies are scared of fibroid is alarming. You are just eating too much. You look at your stomach and say, This, this, thing, this is how it starts. I have the power to create. And I have the power to destroy. The power of words is in its ability to activate spiritual laws. That's what I want you to know. Many of us have been taught that words are powerful, but what makes it powerful? Words are keys in the spirit. They activate laws. So now, it's not just blind confession. Oh, I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich. As if you are reciting a magic formula. No, that's madness. You speak out of the abundance of knowledge that when I declare that I am blessed, I am activating something. You wait until we have the other series that we have. There are so many things that you will learn this year. Two laws you have learned tonight. The first one is that there are spiritual laws. And that one of the laws, listen, is that to change your outside, you change what is inside. Stop wasting your time. Whatever you don't like outside, get the renewal, the mind component of what you want outside bill johnson got it right when he wrote the book the supernatural power of a transformed mind i don't expect this ministry to ever go down we'll keep speaking it we'll keep rising i expect every one of you in this year to break on every side and whenever i pray for you that's what i pray i don't pray blindly and say lord eh, your will be done i know what his will is his will is not fake his spirit has revealed his will in his word I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prosper. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord. They are thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet. We are going to pray. We will pray for just five minutes. But I want us to take this serious because as we are praying, something will be happening to you. Lift your voice and thank him for the word. The reality of spiritual laws. Bless him. Bless him for the word. Don't trivialize what you have received. It has changed kings. It has made champions. You only arise and shine when your light comes. And then the glory of the Lord rises upon you. Hallelujah. Three quick prayer points. Prayer point number one. You are going to say, Lord, let the ministry of the Holy Ghost be strong in my life so that you will open me up to these deep mysteries. Lift your voice and pray. Pray. No matter your spiritual level, even if you are just visiting for the first time, pray from the depths of your heart. 
Shakata Pratekete de Koto Soto Paranaranaros. Maka Prata Kalapokoto Prekete Lekete. Shakata Tepaladaba Kaprekete Balanabos. Please pray inside and in the overflow. Lift your voice and pray. It's the year of the rain. Shekete Lekete Prokoto Balanaba. Holy Spirit overshadow me in a new dimension open me up to the mysteries and the depths and the dimensions hallelujah hallelujah there's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. Yeah. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Lift your hands. God is not done yet. I told you there will be a visitation. Listen, at the count of three, many people will enter visionary experiences. Right now, vision, vision. One, two, three. Take it, take it. Vision, vision. Take it, take it. Vision. I open up prophetic realms. Take it, take it. Vision, vision, vision. Step into realms. Of vision, prophecy, vision, prophecy. I ignite fire. Hallelujah. Visions, visions, visions. Look at me. Look at me. Take it now. Take it, take it, in this row, an angel is walking in this row. This row now, now, this row. Take it, 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 take it now. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising. They are rising up. To break every chain. Hallelujah. HOD, step into new levels of grace, two of you. Take it. Take it now. Goodness. The power of God is strong upon me. Gande la kata te kata. Rakata pande brende keta. Soprote pente ke. 
Rekete, 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 a protoscope rekete, rekete. The hand of the Lord is upon me. The hand of the Lord is upon me. Reposkete, let the Spirit of God move in power. Break chains. Ketete, they will break every chain, break every chain, they will break every chain. There is a road that the power of God is moving outside. There is a row outside. It will start with a lady. There is a lady right now under the power of God. And it will follow to that row. Open the floodgates of heaven, O oh God. Hallelujah. All of you in this front row, just hold your hands. Just this row looking at me. Hold your hands. Lift it up. Father, let it come like a mighty wind. Take it now. 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 Soto prete kete teta. Repete kete tete ba. Som prete kete la ba 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 ba. Let it come like fire. Yeah. Sarah, the Lord is giving me the name of someone, Sarah, Sarah, just leave them, don't worry, don't, don't scatter what God is doing, hallelujah, God is bringing deliverance to your family, hold my hands, it ends now, 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 Delivered. I cast that devil. I cast that devil by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. We will have a visitation tonight. Lift your hands. I want to cause spirits that are responsible for marital delay. Every spirit wife every spirit husband many of you will be surprised at what will happen to you some of you are already out you came out for impartation lift your hands at the count of three the fire of the spirit will be separating men every devil causing delay in marriage at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus lord as they shout jesus i expose every devil and it leaves them forever are you ready now one two three be free now now i cause spirits i cause spirits marital delay 
I call spirit every marital delay I curse you I open doors of marriages now doors of marriage be open every spell every enchantment every act of divination right now I set you on fire on fire on fire on fire on fire on fire now I challenge altars I challenge thrones I challenge spells we break every chain we break every chain we break every chain we break every chain break every chain break every chain let her go now go let her go now go be free lay your hands on your stomach God is setting you free The devil must let you go. There's someone in this room where I'm standing. The power of God will come upon you now. Somebody in this room, a strong anointing will come upon that person. Please speak that person right now. He's coming by the power of the Holy Spirit. There's one person. It's a deliverance fire. It will fall on you right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Pick the person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone holding like a child outside. Who is that person? The Lord is showing me in a vision. Please pick them inside. I'm seeing someone. It's like you're holding. Is it a child I'm seeing? Is there such person like that? Please. Who is that? Come, 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 come. Please. Save time. We have to minister to other people. There's this lady standing close to you. That lady. Yes, with white head tie. My dear, it's time. lift your hands where you are. Visit her now, oh God. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I cast that wicked spirit in the name of Jesus. Listen. Those of you here, just lift your hands. Lift your hands. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. There will be a wild move of the spirit because I see a lot of demonic oppressions. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Let the power of God move. Move right now. Move right now. Move right now. I cause every power. I cause every power. Bring them in. Go now to break every chain. Who brought her? What's wrong with her? I've been at times like this. She does like this. This is demonic oppression. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Is she okay? She's not okay. Look at me. Hold my hands. Satan. Let her go now. Look at what is happening. Are you seeing this? Look at the spirit tormenting her. Let her go. Let your legs be stretched now. Look at what is happening to the legs. Is the camera watching? Watch this. This is the power of God by itself. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go now. 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 Watch this. Look at her deliverance. Out. 
out of her now out 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 Tate paratapa. I return her back to sanity every madness out of her now excuse me every madness out out never returns I see an altar on fire this is what I'm seeing this is what is responsible let me tell you every altar speaking against everyone tonight it will catch fire this night in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ thank you Jesus Liver, stand up stand up and follow me stand up by yourself and follow me stand up come follow me stand up walk come 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 on, can you sing? I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains. I hear the chains falling. Every madness of the devil has to find its way. I hear the there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. At, look at what look at what the devil has done to this lady huh? look at are you seeing for meeting look at the things that the devil has done bastardize this lady's life look at me what's your name Lester. what's your name Lester. what's your name Lester. say Jesus. Jesus say I am fine she literally ate her mouth and injured it like that look at you can see where the skin was taken. Look at me. Follow me. Say, I am fine. I'm fine. Say, I'm fine. I'm fine. It never returns to you again. <laughs> Stretch your hands and say, it's over. <laughs> this deliverance is over. <laughs> if there is any other person with any sign of madness in this place or any kind of psychosomatism, be free now in the name of Jesus. Be free now in the name of Jesus. Look at me. The demons that torment you have left you and will never return to you again. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to pray for you. Please take her child. This is, I'm seeing witchcraft. The Lord is showing me witchcraft. People will rise in the family. When they get to a point, something hits them down. And that's the end of it. No matter what happens. This is what the Lord is showing me. But the Lord is going to bring deliverance. Please lift your hands. Because this is, I'm seeing a lot of witchcraft. My God and my King, let this thing end right now. Because this thing is not just with you alone. It's with your family members. My God, let it end now. Let it end now. Even to your husband. Let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Out of her. Out of her. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Madam, this is your child. Please hold, hold the child. Where is your husband? Eh? Where is he? He's in summer. What's he doing? We have to pray for him. You know why I asked? I'm seeing the spirit of death. Huh? I'm seeing a man holding, and please, if I'm lying, tell me I'm lying. I'm seeing a man holding like chalk. Huh? 
with chalk writing as in his writing is he a teacher a lecturer. Lecture. he's a lecturer this is death coming on him and we have to break it are you getting that now do you believe it if you don't believe i will just leave you before you now turn and say this person the reason why we say this is because i understand that there are all kinds of perverted visions and revelations and corruption of the prophetic so everybody that seems to reveal something people just think that ah this person has done this and that are you getting my point now i must not see god must not show me what is happening to our husband for him to be delivered i hope you know that the word of god is potent enough to deliver the person you understand but god does these things as a sign and a wonder hallelujah a family is about to be delivered right now in the name of the Lord Jesus a family is about to be delivered right now be delivered now I'm not speaking out now I hear the chains falling two of you come are you related come 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 two of you yes what's your relationship eh is your boss you are learning to sew in his place don't laugh I don't mean love relationship I mean what's your relationship huh because I saw the clothes I'm wearing on you suddenly are you getting my point now God is just delivering people out let her go uh, ushers you are still not exempted be doing your work and be sensitive anything can happen to you be doing your work and be very very please everybody be sensitive hallelujah I'm going to pray for you you will experience dramatic increase in the name of the Lord Jesus hold your hands together there's witchcraft in your family wait yes sir it's true there's everybody it's not like every this is death this is delay marriage La wait now calm down god is going to set you free huh look at me just look at me look at me just look at me try to look at me do your best do your very best he's unable to look at me just because it's an instruction it's not like it's any herbal thing god is setting you free a habit is leaving you and a cause is leaving you you look at me do your best lord i attack witchcraft to its root out Something's moving, something's changing. See it feels like heaven on earth. Something's moving, something's changing. over your husband in the name of the Lord Jesus every spirit of death by the blood we command that you leave him in the name of Jesus none shall die in the name of Jesus Christ come sign up it's time for God to step into your family run and come see I don't need to call you just connect by faith God is already touching people and families. Are you getting my point now? Financial increase is coming to your family. Take it now. Financial increase, mighty increase coming to your family. That's what the Lord is telling me. Mighty increase. I break the limitation. 
The same thing is happening to that lady. That's why this is happening. Every other person, oh God, that you are bringing financial increase. I know everybody will be touched. Listen, when God does one and you see other people reacting, it's because it's the same prophecy. So let's just maximize what God is doing. Lift your hands. Father, everyone who belongs to this category, at the count of three, may the anointing to make it happen be released. One, two, three. Take it now. 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 Financial bondage. Broken. Outside. Broken. This is a cause of hardship. In the name of Jesus, let her go. I release her and her family. Out! Out! That cause of hardship. Out! The Lord is bringing increase for your father. I'm seeing traditional things. These are habal things I'm seeing in a shrine. The Lord is taking them away. And bringing serious financial increase to your family Lord confirm your word I've spoken as you have shown me let it be confirmed in the name of Jesus this is your baby please give somebody hold the baby Take away this garment of shame over your life in the name of Jesus. This garment of shame. Go! Be set free, be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Who is Eunice? Eunice. 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 Lord is ministering to me a lady called Eunice who is that please if it's your name or someone related we have to save time Eunice Gabriel 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 I'm seeing the last digits of a GSM number. 221. 221. That's the last digit of your phone number. 221. Who is that? You are the one? Do I know you? Okay, Gabriel. Okay. 221. Please, if that is yours, just come out. 221. The last digits. 221. Please verify. Don't come and tell us lies here. 221. That's what I'm seeing. It's like something covered the rest and I'm seeing 221. If that is yours, please come on. Gabriel, can I pray for you? Stand up, please, sir. What do you do? I'm an artist. Is that the only thing you do? Final department. Okay. I want to pray for you. Because what God is showing me, I'm not seeing you drawing. Huh? This is this is business I'm seeing. You look at me. Do you believe what I'm saying? I want to pray for you because things are tight for you right now. You're just looking, but things are not are really, really tight. Father, visit him. You called out Gabriel. Receive this visitation right now. In the name of Jesus.
name is Gabriel too. Who is Adamu? Huh? He's a man in Kano. What? A man in Kano. Where do I know Adamu from? What's your relationship with Adamu? We work together. We work together. Is he a nice man? No. He's a wicked man. God is bringing justice to you. Hold my hands. Look at me. Have I met you? Do I know you? How do I know that there's a relationship between Gabriel and Adamu? Do you believe that God is setting you free? Father, like it was for Jacob and Laban, let there be justice. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may there be mighty justice. Look, let me tell you, your life is about to change. It will shock you. Huh? But your relationship with God, did you, de did you rededicate your life here? Do your own now. You are supposed to come out. Why did you stay back? This is what is giving legal access. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Lift your hands. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I'm serious with my relationship with you. I make up my mind to stop playing games. From tonight, I'm a genuine child of God. Women, out of his life. Every spirit of immorality lost and every related thing I cost you be free my God will give you promotion that will honor you and lift him in Jesus name why are you here why are they here what mm -hmm. next eh? all of you are Eunice is she married There is a garment of shame God is taking away from your life. Huh? You are a lady boy, it's like you are a man. Nobody is coming to you, nobody cares, nobody is even saying your hair is fine. We have to take this thing away. Look at me, my dear. It's not normal, we have to curse it. Lord Jesus, help this lady. Now, I restore that glory in the name of Jesus Christ. I won't say it here, but be careful. Huh? You, you understand what I'm saying, right? Do you understand? Please be very careful. The devil comes to steal, kill, and what? Destroy. But God shows you mercy and grace. Huh? Lay your hands on your stomach. Thank you, Jesus. Let there be perfection. the Lord is not even talking about you he's talking about your elder ones I've seen them it's because it's the same thing that is happening there I've taught you people bring out Lord, let it be over now. Lay your hands on my hands. Just lay your hands on my hands. It ends. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. I appoint unto you a season of liberty. In the name of the Lord Jesus. To appoint point unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beautiful ashes what is happening to you is happening to her at the same time to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beautiful ashes it's the same thing that is happening to her Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
God is going to do something strange in this place right now. All of you from Kogi State, lift your hands. Just lift your hands. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Lift your hands. This is a very strange instruction. There will be massive deliverance right now. Follow me, instrumentalist, please. At the count of three, this is a territorial deliverance. Lift your hands, please. Follow me, instrumentalist. One, every altar, catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Shake it, 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 it. Outside, I command the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. All the children that have been buried, the blood. Lord, in Kogi State, as you have shown me, every Kogi person, every altar against your life, catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Bring them out. Bring them out. Deliverance. Every altar, the children that have been buried, I command the earth, share ye the word of the Lord. I come with an apostolic territorial mantle. Let there be deliverance. Massive deliverance. Now. Now. I'm seeing snakes. I'm seeing snakes. All kinds of snakes. All kinds of snakes. This is what I'm seeing. They catch fire now. They catch fire now. Every serpent. Every devil. I speak to shrines. I speak to altars. I speak to covens. By the anointing of the spirit. For the spirit of the Lord. Tonight is upon me. I challenge you. I command an exodus. An exodus. An exodus. I hear you. will hear testimonies. They will carry the dead bodies of men. Those who are found, they will carry dead bodies of witches and wizards that will not let you go. I command the vengeance of God. Let the dagger of judgment fall upon every shrine. Let the dagger of God's judgment I command it if I be an apostle of God I command it Hallelujah have won the victory. Come on, lift your hands and worship. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. You have won it all for me. Hallelujah. Everyone who is sick. Lay your hands there right now. For time's sake, we may not have everyone come out, but lay your hands. Something miraculous will happen in this place right now. Wherever you are, lay your hands. Some you're laying your hands, but what is, if it's in an area that you cannot lay your hands, just lay your hands on your chest. Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen. 
the moment I pray for you, the power of God is already healing people right now. Check yourself. The moment you find out that the miracle is happening to you, maybe not everybody, just run out and come and stand here. There will be an explosion of miracles. You must celebrate what God is doing. Aya. Nente tatalaba. Selekete le bambre tinamaya. Who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass. When my God has not established. Hallelujah. Lay your hands now. And while Jesus was teaching. The power of God was present to heal. The Bible says, and when the evening was come, they brought unto him all that were sick and crippled and oppressed. Please take it serious. This is a miracle service. We don't fake it in this place. A miracle is about to happen. As I begin to command, please check yourself. Start doing what you could not do. This is the point where your faith is needed. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, and by the mystery of the blood that pays the price for the ransom of anything in the spirit, the blood is a receipt that can pay for anything in the spirit. And Lord, I pray right now, as I begin to declare, I want you to shout a loud Amen. Miracles are already happening. In the name of Jesus, blind eyes, be open now. Blind eyes, every eye condition, be healed now. Be healed now. Every kind of deafness, complete or partial deafness, be healed now. Be healed now. God is touching people. Peptic ulcer. Be healed now. Be healed now. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. You will feel like fire burning on your chest right now. That's ulcer being healed. God is healing ulcer. Ulcer. You will feel fire burning on your chest. Ulcer is being healed right now. I give you the praise. I give you the praise. I give you the praise. Lump in the breast. Lump in the breast. The right breast. Lump in the right breast. Is being healed now. Lump is being healed now. I cost that spirit. I cost that spirit. By the prophetic word. is going to start coughing things out she's going to start coughing things out right now she will start coughing things out hallelujah, hallelujah. migraine headache every kind of migraine be healed now be healed now be healed now every respiratory condition someone is going to feel something jump out of your chest now every respiratory condition heart condition breathing problem i command the spirit leave now leave now those outside make sure you are connected leave now in the name of jesus There are so many ladies with so much pain even if you are not on your period your stomach i cause that pain together with all kinds of menstrual pain menstrual pain of all sorts go now go now go now menstrual pain is of the devil i don't care what medicine says go now 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 he 
irregular period the lord is healing that now right now there's a lady you've been on your period for two months non-stop it dries up now now and there's a lady from november last year you don't need to come out from november last year you've only seen your period twice in the name of the lord jesus i restore order to your body now i restore order the power of god is moving to this effect i restore order now now hallelujah please begin to check yourself begin to check yourself a tooth problem has been healed i give you the praise lord a toothache tooth problem serious tooth problem the lord is healing it right now right now right now right now lord let every healing every healing hallelujah now I really want to conserve time I'm just thinking since Pastor Jake is here we can lay hands faster on the sick do I need to call the sick to come out is that a good idea answer now let's work together because I know there are people you are still not satisfied okay please and please if you've been healed just stay back especially for our guests who are coming here for the first time and then a few others if you check your body and you see that you are still sick and you need the touch of God please come out and line up thank you Jesus rain is falling down healing rain is falling down I'm not afraid I'm not afraid Brought, who brought our daddy he came on his own he came on his own what's wrong sir difficult in, walking. Difficult, in walking. difficult in walking your leg what happened sir I just feel, one day I just feel like they are past me. I can't weak. your leg is weak I'm going to pray for you daddy and Jesus will heal you right now hold my hand sir don't worry just sit down Thank you, Jesus. The power of God will start moving your leg. Lord, thank you for healing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I curse that spirit. You see something happening to your leg? You're feeling something happening to your leg, right? Yes. The power of God is moving. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of the Christ of God. Daddy, look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, stand up. Come, come, come. Help him, help him. This is stroke. This is stroke. In the name of Jesus, I curse it. I curse it. I curse it. Sir, at the count of three, lift up both of your hands. One, two, three. Just lift your hands. Lift your hands. That stroke hand. I curse it in the name of Jesus. Daddy, try walking. Come. Hold my hands. Follow me. Come. Come. Look at me. Look at me. Come. 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 Just turn. Turn. By yourself. Just do what I'm doing. Do what I'm doing. Come on now. Look at God. Give me the miracle. In the name of Jesus, are you seeing the power of God now? Go ahead, Daddy. The devil is a liar. Say. 
Not only has God healed you, Daddy, God is going to restore to you every worm has eaten, everything the palmer worm has eaten. Because the Lord is showing me that the enemy would have taken your life first week of October. They would have buried you first week of October. This is what the Lord is showing me. But in the name that is above all names, four years, four years now, for four years, this has been. The devil had wanted to destroy you. I'm seeing first week of October, they would have buried you. But in the name that is above all names, the Bible says the heaven of the heavens belong to the Lord. But the earth has he given. So, all oh earth, I forbid you from taking this man's body. In the name of Jesus, he will live long, he will live strong. And for every one of you praying for him, may your family members live long. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Daddy, we are going to walk one more time. Look at, look at, he's so excited. To the shame of the devil. To the shame of the devil. To the shame of the devil. Come on, walk again, Daddy. Walk. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please take him to his seat. The Lord perfects him in the name of Jesus. Worship him. Help us. Let's save him. You are not the only one. All the people in your family that came, come and stand here. This is witchcraft. Come and stand here. This is not sickness. What a mighty God we serve. Please hurry up. Just save our time, please. The creator of heaven and earth. will 
set the whole family free. Kai, this is witchcraft, acute witchcraft. You know you need a miracle, right? Huh? You came here trusting God. Huh? What did the doctors tell you? My leg. Wait now. I need to pray for you. Huh? The leg issue is a simple issue. If I don't pray for you, they are going to diagnose you with cancer. Huh? Cancer of the breast. Cancer of the breast now. It's cancer. This is what I'm telling you. If we don't destroy it now, this is cancer of the breast. It's witchcraft. Huh? It's okay. Don't cry. Please. Please. We don't have handkerchief here. Handkerchief. Oh, please. Madam, listen. The, I told you he's dead. Where is, where is your husband? husband is dead. husband is dead. Where is your mother? My mother is dead. They've, uh, wait, I'm showing you that this is witchcraft. They want to kill everybody in your family. Huh? They want your son. Where is your son? My senior brother. Wait, who? He's paralyzed completely. If there is a God in heaven, hear me. If there is God in this place tonight, your deliverance comes. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Hold my hands. Jesus, change their story. Let the speaking blood speak right now. In the name of Jesus, I break the chains of witchcraft. Please help this woman with a handkerchief. Anybody, anybody, please. Madam, if there is a God, you will return back to this place to testify. I cause cancer now, 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 out of her body by the power of the Holy Ghost. Cancer dies now. Together with the leg issue, your leg will start moving now, supernaturally by itself. Your leg will start moving under the influence of the spirit and that evil thing upon your leg leaves you forever baby hold my hands Hallelujah. look at this innocent girl look at this girl where's the camera when you look at this girl you see a walking corpse do you understand I'm seeing a coffin in the spirit. They have finished this girl since last year. This girl you are seeing. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Jesus said it. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am dead. I am. Father, Change this girl's story. I bring you out of the valley of the shadow of death in the name of Jesus Christ. Out now, out now, out now. In the name of Jesus. I change the story of this family now whatever legal access the devil has over your family we lift up the blood as the price for your ransom therefore we command your exodus now the same thing is happening to someone here exodus now everyone marked for death I command your exodus now everyone marked for death everyone marked for death I command your exodus now in the name of Jesus. Let's save time. Thank you, Jesus. Free. She's in 
the hospital. Set her free. In the name of Jesus.
come. Your season has come. Your season of smiling has come. voice is saying she must die who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when the lord has not commanded it he said no witchcraft no enchantment against jacob shall stand see don't let all this nonsense voice is when you don't know who you are i think we are going to sing that song chosen generation we need to shout it to the devil that we are not confused Watch it too. are you ready now give us that song Sing anything, even if you don't know the fashion. Just sing the one you know. Are you ready now? Time you will sleep here. Oh. Yes, 
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the <laughs> Mommy, be healed. Every planting that is not of God, we uproot it now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Be free. Every growth in your body dissolves and passes out of this body. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. See, Baba Ladaba. Do you have your prayer request? Please start submitting it. Usha, start getting a prayer request. Prayer requests are very important. They are not a formality. If you've not written it, now is the time. Send a text to your loved one. And say, send it fast. There is a God that answers prayers. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. Savior, he can move a mountain. My God is mighty to say. Yes, he is mighty to say. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Jesus is great in this place. Please write out your prayer requests. Don't spare anything. Hallelujah. Please, I want to pray. I want to lay hands on all the children. All the little children from age 1 to 10. Just 1 to 10. If they are more than 10, keep them. 1 to 10. Please bring them out. 1 to 10. Mothers, if you are tired, give somebody to hold the child and come with it. Please, just hurry up. Let's save time while we collect it. Please. If you are not interested, you can sit back, please. Bring all the children. We must lay hands. Ah, that's a baby. Teach me how to hold them. Before I strangle the neck of this baby. <laughs> Come and hold the mic for me. Let me do serious business here. Baby has small nose like you. Hold on. Baby, we prayed for your arrival. Oh. Every barren woman in this place. Stand up. Everybody stand up. Ah! I use Wumi as a point of contact. I'm very serious now. Every family here trusting God for the fruit of the womb God is breaking 
barrenness. The same God that brought this baby. The Bible says children are a heritage from the Lord. My God, I pray, I cause barrenness to its root now. In the name of Jesus. Baby, may you be strong. May you grow to be a beautiful and a godly girl. We separate you in advance from destiny killers. Wolves in sheep's clothing. May they never find you in the name of Jesus. All those who are determined to destroy the life of visionary people, they will never find this baby in the name of Jesus. I'm going to lay hands on every one of this child. I want you to help me. If you know that you are a mother or a father, or you plan to be a mother or a father, even if you don't plan, just join us. Hallelujah. Many of you, are, especially those of you who are trusting God for marriage this year, I hope you know the year is still young. Is this all the faith you brought for this meeting? Now is the time to believe God and stretch your hands and say, Lord, as you did it to them. I didn't say, come out, oh. Don't worry, immediately I finish. All those who are trusting God for marriage this year, if you think you are bold enough and you are not ashamed, immediately after this, march out and stand. Don't be ashamed of anybody. Don't let anybody look. I'm serious. Hold on. If you know you have a lot to do in your destiny, you are a hundred level and you just come and march out here. Please, we, we are not playing jamboree here. I know there are men of God that do, we are acting based on instruction. Make sure your father and your mother will smile when you tell them you are ready to get married. Don't cause anything that will come and disgrace the name of the Lord. Praise God. All of you stretch your hands. It's amazing. Let me challenge men. I don't see any father standing here. And I, if I remember very well, I know that Mary was the only woman who just gave birth like that without a man. Fathers, men. Every gentleman say, say myself behave. Say it myself behave. When it comes to responsibility, many men leave the women. But if the baby takes first, you are the one who wants to go to the school. Lady, say I refuse. Stretch your hands. Let's pray for them. Every blessing you know you would give your child, release it to them. Pastor Jakes, please, let's lay hands on them. Father, we lay hands on these children. Every spell. Name of the Lord Jesus everything that makes your brain dull we command that you are not dull in the name of jesus christ bring her please in the name of jesus christ baby grow in the fear of the lord in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now if you know honestly please don't play games with god here you know that you are trusting god to settle down maritally in this 2014 come out and stand here please we are not playing games i am very very serious about it God is a miracle walker. God is a glorious God. He is a glorious God. God is I know you are a miracle God is a glorious Sing it one more time. Oh, 
ready to marry this year? Are you joking? Eh? You are standing in for somebody. Okay. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. We are young people, but it doesn't mean we are indisciplined. Are you getting my point now? Now look up. I want to say something very important. Some of you standing here are the enemies of your own marriages. Hallelujah. Gideon said, why have we not seen these manifestations? He said, destroy the altars. Any ungodly relationship that you are in, that is stopping your life partner from coming, we break it from the realm of the spirit now. May that married man never call you again. I know you have been getting money from him, but the relationship is hereby declared non and void. You must choose to walk in holiness and integrity. Hallelujah. There are people standing here that there are powers and thrones. Please lift your hands. And horns that attempt to lift themselves against your marriage. You are a very pretty lady. But nobody can look at you. The moment a guy looks at you and is trying to talk to you, something just happens and scatters it. There are some of us, you are guys. You are, you are a hardworking and disciplined person. But the moment any lady comes to you, today she says she's, she's serious. After one week, there are some of you people come and they die. Some of you have even had introduction and the guy ran away. But in the name that is above all names, listen, this is an apostolic ministry. We are not ashamed. The Bible says, I am not ashamed of the gospel. Every aspect of the gospel that brings freedom, we will preach it and we will set people free. Lift your hands. You will be very surprised. I said it at the beginning of the year that God told me there will be surprise marriages. Even people who did not believe and expect. Listen. Let me give you a revelation. My Bible says male and female, he created them. What and what? Did he say female and female? Did he say male and male? That means, ladies, there is a male counterpart for you. You believe that? I'm going to pray for the man, not a man. Are you getting me? Not one man meandering around and you say, let me manage, time is going. No. You can read a course you don't like and manage for five years and leave. You cannot manage marriage. Lift your hands. Let's first destroy these altars of Baal. See that, Ababa. Get ready. Because the power of God is about to shatter spells into pieces. Father, everyone here under the influence of any spirit husband or spirit wife or any enchantment in the name of the Lord Jesus at the count of three may deliverance come to you. One, two, three. Right now, right now, right now. I cause it. I cause it. Let them go. Let them go now. I release you now. I release you now. 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 Every spirit sitting on your marital destiny, I set it on fire. Now. Hallelujah. Now I prophesy to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Father, your people have come out because they are ready to settle down. In the name of Jesus, whatever attribute they need to have to become award-winning wives and husbands, may it come upon them now in the name of Jesus. Wherever your husband is, if he is walking in this earth right now, just like Boaz, Located root, katapaterekete, setelekebababa. I call forth your life partner now by prophecy. Now, 
goodness the power of god is creating a connection right now right now in the realm of the spirit right now in the name of jesus i connect you in the realm of the spirit i break every soul tie i break every soul tie i break every covenant stopping you from marriage right here we are going to hold your wedding card and announce it to the shame of the devil in the name of jesus some of you are ready to marry there's no money god punish the devil in the name of the lord jesus we call for supply the beds that brought food for elijah in the name that is above all names receive divine supply now Go and return with your testimony. Please rise up everybody. Pastor Jakes, please come. Pastor Jakes is going to lead us to pray and prophesy on this request. Listen friends, we have a God that answers prayers. There are just a few minutes and we'll be out of here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please just stretch forth your hands towards this place and communicate with God. Get, go ahead and pray. Father, we pray. Rabala baka shi para gale bondo si para bale bregale lele boko sa. Rakata na ra raba shi te bale bondo bregale la varia ra raba kasanda raba ligede. Riha ta sa para bago dia de bale bregale de de boko sa ni ra raba. In the rakata da ba to para kate bale bregale la varia raba do varia. Rako to pa ya rakata ni ra raba raba raba. Ende bregale lele boko bregale do bale bregale la varia kada. Rakata ya raba la la varia ba de ba de. Rakata ba de varia ra raba da. Enda rakata la ba raba da la ba raba da. Rakata ba ha sha para ba da. Rakata li ba raba ba 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 ba. Enda regele lele ba kosi ba la ba da. Raba to salietando ho imanda katoja ila barus aliatando igavoja ila raunda as ila paliendo resula Italia rusa indo ko iamba uada wabula ada yondelu. Riyula, huwa chakayuna ma, huwa duya ya yamiala, ruma uba uragala, Rusia da, makondo robo kosi kama. Father Lord, even as we lift up these prayers before you, we ask that the fire of God come. Let the fire come from your presence. Let it come upon these prayers, Lord. Let it rise like incense to you. We release angels of God, angels of God to visit homes, angels of God to visit people in hospitals, angels of finances be released, angels of breakthrough, angels of marriages, angels responsible for salvation, healings for loved ones. In the name of Jesus, we release contracts. We release contracts. We release contracts in the name of Jesus. We speak for the building projects. Let it arise in the name of Jesus. We speak into dead academics. Let it rise, dead spiritual lives. Let it rise. The grace of God comes upon families in the blessed name of Jesus. We speak to barren cases, family challenges. In the name of Jesus, it ends. We speak to divorce cases. Aha! Lord, for those trusting you, for you to bring back their loved ones. Fathers, in the name of Jesus, we ask that fathers come back home. In the name of Jesus, we call for missing people. We ask that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the angels of God bring them back. In the blessed name of Jesus, and Lord, we speak right now into the highway. Aha! Lord, for our loved ones traveling right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that the hand of God will be upon them. The Lord will shield them in the blessed name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory for every prayer point here, Lord. It receives answers in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray, and the Church of God says, Hallelujah! God's servant has prayed we convert this prayer request to testimonies 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please everybody stand inside and outside. Please rise. Something must change in your life right now. And Balak told Balaam, he said, go and curse the nation of Israel. And Balaam told him, he said, I have been commanded to bless and this I have done. He said, I cannot reverse it. Hallelujah. Scripture said, destroy it not for there is a blessing in it. Destroy it not for there is a blessing. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. He said, Believe in his prophets, and you shall prosper. I want you to believe that the word that is about to come forth right now can do something remarkable in your life. We've had testimonies indescribable. This is the moment where breakthrough comes. This is the moment where lots of miracles begin to happen. Please lift your head. Hallelujah. He said, weep not. Thou that didst not bear, break forth into singing. Thou that did not have a child. He said, for many are the children of the desolate. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I come under the apostolic unction. And I command, receive breakthrough now. Breakthrough now. Breakthrough now. I command breakthrough now in every area of your life breakthrough now receive breakthrough now every limit every limit I smash it in the name of Jesus whatever has not been working in your life right now in the name that is above all names I command it to start working now start working now every voice speaking against anyone here that every time you want to move forward there is a voice listen the Bible says in six things shall he deliver you job five he said, yes, seven things. He said, in the time of famine, you will laugh and you will shall be delivered from the scorching tongues of men. In the name that is above all names, I command every scorching tongue against your destiny, be silenced now. Be silenced now. Be silenced now. Silence now. Be silence now. Be silence now. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified whatever has stopped your growth whether spiritually or academically the Bible says they that dwell in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God like the cedars of Lebanon they be fat and flourishing I command barrenness to be over now I cause barrenness now 
by God's wariness. Record to second day. Reports come to Shabbat. And Jesus said, Every tree that has not been planted by my Father. Hallelujah. I shared with you last week on the mysteries of the kingdom that there is the mystery of sleep. Something happens in the earth when men sleep. The Bible says, While men slept, it's not backsliding. While they slept, an alien came and planted something and went away. And people woke up with diseases they did not sleep with. In the name of Jesus, every foreigner in your body and your life that my father has not planted, come out of their bodies now. Come out of their bodies now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, come out of their bodies now. Hallelujah. And the Lord told Moses, He says, See, I have made you a God unto Pharaoh. See, I have made you a God unto Pharaoh. Everything that has oppressed your life and has put you under bondage, tonight you rise up above and beyond that challenge now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And the sons of the prophet told Elisha, he said, where we meet with you is too small. Come, let us go beyond the Jordan. And the Bible says, while they were felling the tree at Jordan, the axe head fell. And they said, alas, master, for it was borrowed. And the prophet said, where did it fall? And he threw a stick and the earth head began to float i reverse tonight in the name that is above all names every situation over your life that you know only god can change it may that god change it now every situation in your life that only god can change may that god change now change it now change it now That when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. And so said among the heathen, the Lord has done great things for them. He said, the Lord has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O God, as the rivers in the Negev. I pray, let it turn around blessing. Hit somebody right now. Let it turn around blessing. Hit somebody right now. hallelujah because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows and the Bible says Esther went in and when the king saw her he said Esther what would you have me do even up to half of my kingdom everywhere you need to enter for the next level of your life reporto sotoa we break protocols tonight and we command that God will take you there. May my God take you there. May my God take you there. Hallelujah. And the man who was crippled from birth, he needed a miracle, but there was no man to help him. And the Bible says some people lifted him and tore the zinc and put him. It's one thing for men to want to help you but it's another thing for them to vow to help you all the way i prophesy every destiny helper that is responsible for the next level of your life career wise marriage wise academic wise i call them into your life now i call them into your life now i call them into your life now I call them into your life now.
Hallelujah. The Bible says, Thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me round about. Genesis 24 verse 1. And Abraham was old and well stricken in age and the Lord had blessed him in all things. How many things? How many things? Every part of your life that is remaining to align with the all things anointing. The Bible says Naaman, 2 Kings 5, was the captain of the Syrian army. He was a mighty man. The Bible says, but he was crippled. I pray every other area of your life that needs the touch of God, let that area of your life receive that divine touch now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Is there hope for a tree, although it be cut down? It said, At the scent of water. At the scent of water. Everything in your life that has gone down, that you're asking, Can God take me back to this level again? Some of you are asking, Can I go back to the level of anointing I used to function in again? Can God take me to that level of grace again? my god and your god restores all things for you now the lord most high restores all things now may the peace of god that surpasses all understanding rest and abide with you in the name of the lord jesus christ and now i pray for you may the lord bless you May the Lord keep you. May the Lord lift up his face before you. May he lift up his countenance upon you. And may he give you peace. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Give God praise. In the name of Jesus. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, Attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you